So, um, super excited today. Uh, the topic of motivation is stop resisting. Stop resisting. You know, I'm happy, happy, happy because me writing down the notes and, and doing this, and it came to me like two days ago. Um, I've learned so much from it. And when, when I can get so much revelation in it, especially things I haven't really spoken about like that, everything is related, but not like directly, um, you know, it gets me happy. It just, the more revelation we get is, you know, the feeling of closer and closer to getting where we need to be and getting into our greater self. So stop resisting. Stop resisting. Mm. <laughs> I don't beat you guys up. Simply beautiful. Hey, love. 0861. I don't beat you up. Stop resisting. I, I'm going to go just, I'm going to take one, one little moment to go down the line. Elevators, stop resisting. Lady Wealth, stop resisting. My beautiful Black Diamond, stop resisting. Carlito, Zaya, stop resisting. Mimi, stop resisting. Taylor, Jay, stop resisting. Dizzy, stop resisting, my loves. Listen to me. You know what? And I have to say, Candy, Annie Marie, I'm trying. Come on, Black Diamond. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Because you know what? When we think that we've come to a place, and a lot of us are in a much greater place than we was. <clears throat> I'm not as res I'm not resisting as much as I was resisting 10 years ago. I'm not resisting as much as I was resisting 15 years ago. I recognize your love. I recognize your growth, my king and queens. But somewhere in there, we got to figure out what we're resisting. And we got to we got to we got to work it out. We got to work it out. We got to get past this thing, because even with me, you know, I was thinking about it. I'm like, OK, there's some areas in my life that I do got to stop resisting. There's I want to be greater. I want to do this. You want to do it, then do it. And, um, you know, <clears throat> um, yeah, so so. I first want to say stop resisting. We all know where we came from, but we know that there's still some things left. And if we don't choose to recognize, Austin, hey love, thank you lady. If we don't choose to recognize that resisting, then we're just holding ourselves back. But let's keep, let's, let's, let's jump in. Um, stop resisting. What is resisting? The withstand, the action or effect of. So let's just shorten that. Resisting is to withstand the effect. Well, what, 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 the effect of what? What are you talking about, Ani? What are you saying, really? Um, what, what effect are we, are, are, we're withstanding the effect. We're, we're pushing against an action. There's something that we feel that we're resisting, we're pushing away from. What is it? You know what? There's a quote that says, what you resist persists. I want you to think about that, king and queen. What you resist persists. And persists means continues firmly. The more and more and more and more and more we try to walk out of what we are called for, it will persist us. It will follow us. It will continue to press firmly to help us to try to wake up into what the dream that we're in, in the, the, the stuff less than the deser deserving that we are in, whatever it may be, it will continue to persist. I want to know, King and Queens, have you ever been in a place, Escobo, hey love, hey Daniel, have you ever been in a place where you gave up? Come on, let's, let's talk, let, let's be a little bit real this morning. You, where you gave up, King and Queens, and you, you, you said, I'm not trying no more, I'm not doing anything. And the, and the moment, come on, let, let's, 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 let me, let me see. And the moment that you gave up, something kept pressing you. I want you to put a one in the comments. You, 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 you was resisting. You gave up. I want you to put a one in the comments. You said enough is enough. I can't do this. I'm tired of being hurt. I'm tired of being tired. I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired of always trying to get to what I deserve, but getting less than what I deserve. I don't, um, uh, switch. Hey, love. Uh, I was like the third. I was like that three months ago. Come on, Leo. Come on, King. 
Let's be real. But if we could be, if we could be a little bit transparent of what it is, then we can help us and let alone help help each other. Come on, Mimi. Come on, Lady Wealth. Yummy. Swish. On Bigo. Come on, Lady. Black Diamond. Purple Rose. Creative. Hi, <laughs> gorgeous. Welcome, welcome, welcome. On Bigo, Lady Wealth. Come on now. We all go through that on Beagle. We all go through a point that we say, you know, I don't know if I could do this anymore. Jay, thank you, love. We go through that. But listen to me, king and queens. You come to a point that you've given up everything. You're tired of, you're tired, sick and tired of being sick and tired. You come to a place that I can't do this no more. I give up. I'm waving the white flag. Whatever is going to happen is going to happen. I can't take this no more. I lost my energy. My frequency is low. This is just too much. And then you came to a place when you gave up everything. Something is still pushing me. It's, it's, it's like, it's like that fly. Thank you for sharing love. It's like the fly that's buzzing around and it's just so annoying. And you just trying to like, if I could catch that fly, I could just kill it. And there's something that is still pressing you. There's something I, I said, I gave up. Why you keep pushing me? There's something that is trying to lead us, show us something. There's some revelation going around and you just think I got my revelation. I don't want to do it anymore, but there's something that keeps, um, Yes, yes, wish. There's something that keeps pushing me. The Kante love. There's something that keeps pushing me. There's something that keeps pulling me, pulling me close. And I, I just, and, and it's not me. Oh, but so my message today to you, king and queens, is stop resisting. Stop resisting. Because what you resist persists. What you resist is going to continually, firmly keep trying to do what it's doing. The more and more you keep, you keep stopping. The more and more you don't want to do it, the more and more it keeps coming. Have you ever felt like you was like so good in your life? Everything was cool and everything was steady, easy and calm. And the rug gets pulled up from out of your feet. You lose your job. Um, you, you break up a marriage. Uh, your children are acting funny. Uh, people aren't talking to you anymore. All of a sudden, you you had money all this time. Come on, the cut. Yeah, and 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 now you don't have money. All of a sudden, now car breaks down. This one needs something in college. That one. All this. All these things are going on, and the rug keeps getting pulled up under your feet because where you're standing is where you're not supposed to be. Come on, the comfortability, the 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 ease, the 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 smooth sailings is not where you're supposed to be that's what's happening i'm stop resisting it's not supposed to be comfortable i'm resisting the uncomfortable thing i'm pushing against the thing that the unknown i don't want to deal with it it's something i don't know but it, it's because the position that you're in is the position is not a position that you belong just see if it catch up come on taylor come on switch come on jay It's not a position where you belong. So what you resist persists. The thing will continually, firmly keep coming at you. Come on now. What you keep pushing away will always come back. It will always show up in your life. When destiny comes knocking and you can't hear it because you're, all you can hear is, is your voices. All you can hear is the people around you. And it's going to come knocking once again. And it's going to come knocking so louder and louder until you hear it, until it forces you to move. There's a period in my life that I was so overwhelmed with doubts in my mind and who I am and that I um, devalued myself and, and I'm not worthy. And the, and the call inside of my mind about who I am was louder than the call of my destiny. My toxic relationship was louder than my destiny. My children were louder than my destiny. Mm. My job is louder than my destiny. Stop resisting. James, hey love. That man, hey love. 
the first thing that we get into when we talk about stop resisting is we got to come to a place to stop with the perceived pain. It's what I think is going to hurt. What I think is going to happen. You know when we you know when we start becoming those fortune tellers. We know everything that's going to happen before it happens. We know everything that's going to go down before we even move. We, we, we're, we're the fortune tellers. We're believing that we're God. Oh, that's not going to work. And this is not going to work. And I'm not, it's not going to happen here. The perceived pain. If I do this, then it's going to come out wrong. And if I do this, then I'm going to get hurt. And if I do that, then we, the, the self-sabotage. Come on, king and queens. The perceived pain of pursuing our calling. If I, if I try to get to where I need to go, then I'm going to have to deal with some relationship issues. If I'm, if I'm trying to move forward, then I got to check my circu circles and reevaluate my relationships. And that's going to put me in a position to cut off some dead weight, but I love them. And you know, I, I, we've been together for 15 years and I've been best friends with them since high school. And, and since elementary, we was in kindergarten together. You know, I don't want to deal with that. We, 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 we start thinking about all the reasons why we shouldn't move forward. We start, we start creating this perceived pain about pursuing our calling. Well, it, I tried before and it was so hard. Look what happened. I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to do that again. And, and you know, what if I try it and it doesn't work? You know, I invested all this in it, time, money, blood, sweat, and tears. And if it doesn't work out, then I'm going to have to deal with that. And we, we waste more energy thinking about the negative things than actually doing. My talking to king and queens, we waste more energy going through all the negative reasons on why we can't do what we do instead of just doing just doing will take a uh, uh, one third of the energy we put into our negativity yes i do well swish can we can we be a can we be a little bit transparent i that's me i do it all the time every time i get something that comes to my mind that it's a goal or something open to to open my own business um to start investing in real estate uh to go back to school to learn some things to get some investment that causes some residual income and if we don't know what residual income is residual keep it hi love if we don't know what residual Residual income is residual income is when we you are not working at all but continually getting money. You're on vacation, but you're getting paid. That's ooh, that's that's these are the things that have been promised to us. Life and that more abundantly. Uh not slaving every day, not making ends meet. This is not the promises that we're talking about. That's why we gotta come to a place and stop resisting your promises. Stop letting someone hand you the title of a deed of some real estate and you keep pushing them back. You keep knocking them down. You keep saying, I don't want it. I miss you too. Yes, I need to finish real estate school. Come on. See, I don't know who that's for. I, ain't, I, I never deal with no real estate or school or anything like that. All praises to the most high. Stop resisting. Every time somebody's handing you something good, you deny it. Every time somebody hands something to you good, you push it away. You know, that's not what I'm used to. Stop giving me what I deserve. I'm used to being kicked when I'm down. I'm used to being robbed, stripped from everything. I'm talking about emotionally, physically, mentally, and spiritually. That's what I'm used to. Stop giving me better. That's what we're doing. Thank you, love. That's what we're doing when we resist these things. Resisting our calling, resisting our destiny. No, I, I'm, I'm not used to that. You know what? I, I don't want love without abuse. That's not what love is. I, all I know is love with abuse. When coming at with, come at me, me with this, this love and you don't want nothing back. I don't know what that is. I don't understand that language. Savage! Hey, love. Keep it. Thank you guys for the taps. Tap the screen. This shit a lot. Jason, thank you for being a fan, love. You see, I don't know those things. We resist the very thing that is ours. 
We resist the very promises that were spoken to us. We resist our purpose. We resist our destiny. Because of this perceived pain. What we have decided it's going to be before we even move. I mean, who died and made you God? I just, I just got that one question for you right now, King and Queens, is who died and made you God? Who, who, who died and made you Miss Cleo? Who said, uh, call for the psychic reading, honey, you call, you call for the psychic reading. I tell you your future. Who did that? Who said that you have all the answers? Who said you know what's coming in the future and you didn't even, you, you're not trusting the one that made your future, but you're, you're trusting the, cre the one that was the created future. So the perceived, that perceived pain pursuing our calling, it's easier to escape the hard thing through distraction. It's easier to, dis to escape it through medication, whether we're taking drugs, whatever it may be ease our mind, whatever it is. It's easier to do it through procrastination. Now nah, it's, it's going to be a little bit too much. It's going to be a little bit too much effort. We would rather deal with what we don't deserve than put in the effort to get to what we do. We would rather deal with what we don't deserve than to put in a little bit of effort to get to what we do. All praises, right, Swish. All praises to the Most High. Michael, be more, hey love, Mr. B, welcome forward, love, I trust him, he leads me here, yes, yes, it's easier to escape with the distractions, that's why we have so many distractions in our life. Did you ever notice that? Everywhere you turn is a distraction. You have a messy friend that causes a distraction. Distractions. We got the friend that's the distraction. We, per, we, 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 we know that the family member isn't good for us. We know the family member really doesn't love us, but we accept in our mind the excuse of, oh, that, that's my sister. Oh, that's my brother. You know, that's my mother. You can't change your family. No. If your family ain't for your divinity, they ain't for you. And the story, it don't matter. I could blood, no blood. I'm telling you, some some friends I have will, will jump in front of a bullet before my actual family does. I don't know if you guys experienced this before, but it's real. I don't, don't come to me. Come on, creative. Don't come to me about, oh, blood is thicker than water. That is a lie from the pit of hell because I know friends that love me unconditionally more than my mother. Ooh, that part. Ooh, that that's that's real. <laughs> that's that's real. That's so true. Come on, keep it. You know, we we live for these distractions. We live for the distractions so that so that we don't have to go through that perceived pain. We don't have to go through the pain that we're expecting. You know, we just assume we've dealt with pain our whole life. It's going to happen. You know, it's just, I don't, Candy, I don't need to be Miss Clear. I don't need to uh, really be God. You know what? It's going to happen. I went through pain my whole life. So what do you think else? What else is coming? Same old stuff, Candy. Same old stuff, Annie Marie. It's the same old stuff. I don't need to, I don't need a crystal ball. I don't need to, come on, come on, keep it. I don't need to do all that. I have this kind of separation for the better. Come on, Swish. Because at the end of the day, we got to love ourselves more at the end of the day so we can love people better. If I got to get out of these toxic relationships so I can love me more, then I'm going to do that. Because the reason why we're in them is because we don't love ourselves enough. And because we don't do it for us, then they don't do it for us. Well, if you don't even love yourself real, why should I? And it's not even, it's not even, a, it, it's a subconscious thing. A lot of times, it's a subconscious thing. Well, you don't care about you and how you look. Why should I care about you and how you look? Oh, you don't care about what you eat and, and, and you living life and that more abundantly. You don't care about your health. You don't care about your sickness. Why should I care about your sickness? Why are you demanding love from me that you don't demand from yourself? That's where the relationships go. So before you want to start pointing fingers at the crazy exes, because I could, I mean, I, I could do it too. Make sure you, make sure you see the part that you had in it. 
Make sure you take accountability for allowing these crazy people to come into your life. <laughs> Make sure you take accountability for the invitation. Make sure you count you take accountability for the welcome party. Cuz you sure did. Cuz they wouldn't have been there or been in the position or had a title like that or any of that without you. We need relationships because it's a necessary part to help us grow. That's why I keep it. That's why we're not born to be single. That's why we are born to have a mate. That's why we are supposed to deal with relationships. Trust is a necessary component to human relationships. If we expect to get these divine relationships, we got to have them. You know, we have to have them. We are created to be, we are created to be isolated to find who we are. Because then there will always be a dependency. There will always be a validation. You know, uh, keep it. Thank you, love. I love when you guys ask questions. I love everyone that's been commenting and helping and, and encouraging. That's what I'm talking about. We, we, we need to be isolated to find who we are because then we will always have the dependency. And dependency will continue to let us live our life, an adult life, on a bicycle with training wheels. That's what we do when we stop resisting. We stop, when, when, when we keep resisting, we, we're riding a grown ass mountain bike with training, training wheels on. Y'all hear me? Keep it, thank you love. Leela! Oh, thank you, gorgeous. Helping me get close to my goal. Four stars. Thank you, love. Jay, Grand Rising. I got Jay, I got Jay, and I got Dre. The three J's in here. Hey, loves. Uh, we are created for relationships. Yes, come on now. Yes, but it puts a lot of emotional trauma on us, Candy. Um, let, let, okay, let's, let's address what Keep It is saying. Candy, I know you're telling me to do relationships. But relationships, it brings so much emotional pain. It's always something real and hard. You can't find who you're in. You can't find who you are in, in someone else. You must find it from within. Come on, Mimi. Speak that, Queen. <laughs> he says... Yes, but it puts a, a lot of emotional trauma on us, Candy. That's right. The truth has set me free. Well, listen, it brings emotional trauma, but guess what? Keep it. You know why it brings so much emotional trauma? Because we don't initially know who we are. That's what it is, King. I'm asking you to step into relationships, love. And I'm asking you to trust again. I'm asking you to be loyal. I'm asking you to take risk and love again. But I'm not asking you to do it without not knowing who you are. And that's the problem, King. Keep it. We, we don't know who we are. So that's why we deal with so much emotional trauma. We don't know our identity. We have, we have let every experience in our life identify with who we are. I was treated like trash in my toxic relationship. I am trash. I, 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 I was dealing with my, my parents doesn't love me. My father doesn't love me. So I shouldn't be loved. I'm not, I'm devalued. My, I, I, hello, my name is devalued. Hello, my name is depression. Hello, my name is toxic. Hello, do you see candy? If you gave 17 years of your life, is that love? Well, if you gave 17 years of your life and nothing came out of it, and I mean by the relationship didn't last, it's because, come on, Jay, it's because, um, it's because in those 17 years of the relationship of life you gave in love, you didn't really truly love yourself. Because when we love ourselves, it does two things in our relationship. When we come to a place, keep it to... Hey, love, when we come to a place to, um, when we come to a place to know our worth and know our value, keep it, what happens is, uh, the people that we're with, either they got to elevate with us or, or they're going to be left behind. And that's what happens when we find who we are, when we understand our worth and we know our value, either they love us enough or not even love us enough. Let me change that. Scratch that. Either they love themselves enough to understand they deserve it too, right? Because 
it, it's not about me just loving me. The person I'm with needs to love themselves too, or it's just not going to work. It's not going to work because even if they love me more than they love their self, somewhere along the lines, it's, it's, it, it, I, I said this the other day, unequally yoked, it's, it means we ain't on the same frequency. And if we're not on the same frequency, we can't grow. We can't move up. Thank you, Smart Freak. Thank you, love. Um, we can't, we can't grow. We can't move up, you know? And if we can't grow and we can't move up, then we ain't going nowhere. Jay. <laughs> Jay, 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 and Dre. <laughs> Hi, love. <laughs> That's it. So, so that's what it is. So what I need you to do, keep it is you got to focus on you. You got to focus on you because what happens is that emotional trauma that you're talking about. It's so emotional and it's so traumatic because we didn't know who we are. Again, I said before, if I told you, you were going to be the president of the United States in a year, I showed you your future. I said, in a year, do you know you're going to be the president of the United States? And you see it and you see it in your future. Guess what? Wouldn't everything you go through this year don't feel that hard? I got, I'm, I, I need to give you guys this example real quick. I want to ask you, I want you to put in a one in the comments. Wouldn't the year be just a little bit easier? Do, if you feel like the year would be easier, if you know that you're going to be the president of the United States in the end of the year, wouldn't the year, everything that you go through, it doesn't matter how hard it is. I want you to put a one in the comments. If you believe that that year would be easier for you to get through because you know what's waiting for you on the other side. I'm talking to somebody, latter glory always greater than the former, right? Come on, Swish. Thank you, love. If I know I'm going to be the president of the United States in a year, everything that I go through, whether it's trouble with my kids, trouble in my relationship, trouble in finances, nothing's going to really matter. I just got to get through this year. It's not going to be as hard as if I didn't know I was going to be president. Come on, Carlito and Sports Free. Come on, Taylor. The suffering, this is what ladies saying, the suffering at this present time is not worthy. Don't even put it on the scale to be compared to the glory that shall be revealed. But do you believe that in your life? Do you have to be shown and told that you're going to be president? Or will you just believe that you're going to be great because it was spoken to you? By the one who makes the great. By the one who created the world. Are you going to come to a place, king and queen, to stop resisting the very call that was called for your life? Are you going to come to a place to believe in faith who you are? Come on, because when you believe, king, keep it. We don't go through so much emotional trauma because I know I got to go through the hard thing to get to where I'm going. If I have trauma, I'm going to make sure I cultivate my emotions. I'm going to make sure that I know who I am. I'm going to make sure that I have self-love on the inside. Because self-love, what is self-love, Candy? What is self-love, Ani Marie? Self-love is, is to know your value and know your worth and have a relationship with the most high. That's what self-love is. And if I have that, I'm a little bit stronger to get through the traumas because I know what's waiting for the other side. I'm, 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 I believe in who I am regardless of my experience that doesn't change my identity. I am great. I am king even though I was in a toxic relationship. I am great. I am queen even though I was molested as a child. I am great. I am king even though I was robbed blind by someone who said that they love me. I am great. I am queen even though I, I'm dealing with the most traumatic things in my life. That's who I am come on keep it we got to start pointing fingers at the at the traumas and 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 choosing to not live in our promises because the traumas we've been in through because we don't want to feel pain no more the reason why you felt pain honey is because you didn't understand who you were in the first place and I mean pain enough to not make you want to do anything pain enough to make you resist that's what I'm talking about. When, when, when things coming at you that you deserve, you start resisting because of the pain, the perceived pain. I don't want to do it because no, stop, stop it. 
You're strong enough to deal with this king. You're strong enough to deal with this queen. Remember who you are. You deserve more. Oh, thank you, Jones. Be you. Hi, love. Come on, Swish. All praises to the Most High. All right, let's keep moving forward. Stop resisting. How can we stop resisting? Reaffirm the calling. We just were saying that. Reaffirm the calling. Remember what the Most High has spoken to you. Remember the promises that are over your life. Remember who you are supposed to be. Zude! Hey, hey. Remember who you are supposed to be. Ah. Remember what He has spoken. Remember all that He has been speaking over your life. How can you live? The, the battle is not. It, it, the battle is not ours. It's the Lord's. All you need to do is show up to the field. You can't be in a defeated life if, if the Most High will always win your battles. You can't be defeated, and that's that's what that that is what the King is trying to say. It's the Lord's. That battle isn't yours. It's it's His. All He's asking you to do is be you. Just be you. These these things don't identify with who we are. We gotta reaffirm the calling. Remember what He has spoken over your life. Reaffirm your commitment. When you remember, reaffirm your commitment. When you remember, come to a place to say, I remember what you said. I know that I'm gonna be great and I'm gonna be committed to being great. I'm gonna be committed to what has been picked for me. What has been chosen for me. I'm going to reaffirm every promise. My seed shall not be begging for bread. I will walk through the valley of the shadow of death and fear no evil. I shall live life and that more abundantly. Be fruitful and multiply. I'm going to reaffirm some things because, uh, because the world continues to, to try to reaffirm that I'm weak. To try to reaffirm that I'm, 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 I'm nothing. That I, I don't mean anything. The world tries to bring some affirming to things that are lies. But I'm going to be reaffirmed in the truth. I'm going to be reaffirmed with. I'm going to have faith and believe. We got to reaffirm that calling. And reaffirm your commitment. When you recognize, okay, yeah, this is what I'm supposed to be. I'm going to make sure that I'm going to be great. I'm going to be committed to being great. I'm going to be committed to the calling. I'm going to be committed to the promises that have been spoken over my life. I'm going to be committed to the one that has made them. Him. The Most High. I'm going to be committed to seeing myself in it through His eyes. I'm going to be better. We're going to get better because I'm committed to. Enough is enough. I'm tired of, co of committing myself to the lies that have been spoken over me. I'm tired of committing to less than I deserve. I'm going to wake up. I'm going to stop resisting. I'm going to stop resisting what's better for me. Just because it looks a little bit hard. I'm going to stop resisting just because I don't, I don't, I'm scared of the unknown. I'm going to stop resisting because I keep doubting myself. I'm going to stop resisting what has been spoken for me. What has my name on it? What is already mine? Hmm. Tasha C. Head Love. <clears throat> May your choices reflect your hopes. King and Queens and not your fears. May your choices, I reaffirm my commitment to our Lord. Yes. Yes. Reaffirm commitment to him. Reaffirming commitment to self. Because if, if I always say this, if we reaffirm, reaffirm commitment to ourself, we are reaffirming, reaffirming our commitment to him because if we truly have self-love and he is unconditional love, then he is in us. And if I reaffirm uh, uh, this commitment to myself and he lives in me, come on now, then, then th that's the same thing. I could never fail because he lives in me. I can't fail because he can't.
Do you see what I'm saying? I could never fail because he can never fail. And if he lives in me and I abide by his, his, his commandments and I live by him, then I will never fail because even in my mistakes, I win. Come on now. Even in my mistakes, I win. Because when I make a mistake, I learn. And when I learn, I grow. And when I grow, I get stronger. And I win. I will ride. Come on, Swish. May your choices reflect your hopes and not your fears. It's going to reflect my hopes because I have reconfirmed uh, and recommitted myself to being great. What do you mean great? What does that really mean, Ani Marie? What does that mean, Candy? I'm, I'm, I reaffirmed my commitment of being great because that's who the Most High has called me to be. There was a period in my life I didn't, I felt like I didn't deserve what he had brought to the table, what he had given me. I said, oh, woe is me. I don't deserve this, Lord. I don't deserve this, Most High. But, but when the, the fact of the matter is we are deserving, that's why he's giving it to us. So recognize who you are, King. And recognize who you are, King, Queen. You are the child of the Most High. So you do deserve. You are a part of the inheritance. So act like you do. Right, right, Terry. Yes, so act like you do. He's spending all this time not for you to say you don't deserve, but for you to say I do deserve. I know who I am. For you to believe in his creation what he had and how he created you. What and how he created you. The next thing when we talk about stop resisting is we got to come to a place to reject fear. We got to come to a place to reject fear. We do not have a spirit of fear, but a power and love and of a sound mind. Remember who you are. That's when you reaffirm the calling. Power and love and a sound mind. Come on, keep it. You need to have love, faith, and dignity in yourself. Power and love and a sound mind. Leela, come on. Reject that fear. Stop resisting the calling and reject that fear. Reject the fear of the unknown. Reject the fear of not feeling good enough. Reject the fear of that you're not perfect. Reject it. We got to reject fear, laziness. We got to reject the pride. We got to reject the lies. Everything we got to reject that will keep us from what we're called to do. Everything. We got to reject the fact that we're believing the lie. That God is not capable to bring about the calling that he has for us. He is capable. He does the impossible and he does it for us. We have to believe in his power to know that he will make it come to pass. Are you willing? Do you believe? Do you have faith enough in him and who he is? High five, hey love. Brown, hey love. Do you believe he will bring the calling for your life? Do you believe he will allow it to come to pass? Stop believing the lies. Reject these lies. A lot of times what we're thinking about is, is mental. A lot of times the reason why we don't believe it's going to happen because we, we made ourselves believe it's not going to happen. The doubts in our mind, talking against ourselves, devaluing ourselves, lowering our self-esteem, lowering our abilities, hiding our abilities, uh, uh, hiding our powers, burying our power. In order for us to stop resisting, I got two more points. In order for us to stop resisting, who is holding you accountable? 
Who is holding you accountable from resisting the greatness that you're supposed to be in? Who is holding you accountable for resisting the calling? What type of family do you have, king and queens? What type of friends do you have? You know, that's your best friend. Are they, are they holding you accountable for you reaching your greatness? Or they just call you, you just call them your best friend. But who's holding you accountable? Is your family? Is your friends? Who, who is holding you accountable for you to live what has been spoken for you? It is imperative that the people that we are connected to want us to get to our greatness just as much as we do. And they want to get to their greatness just as much as we do. That's what frequencies work on. That's the same frequency. That's equally yoked. That's people understanding who we are. I don't just want connections just for connections. I need divine relationships. I need people that care about where I'm going. I need people that are going to hold me accountable. Not believers. Come on, Swish. Hey, Tony. Not just, not just, just I'm friends because I got another friend. No, I, I'm done with those games. We done with those games. I ain't playing games anymore. I'm not there. I'm too grown for the games. I'm too grown for all this. I'm... I'm good. No, I want friends that will hold me accountable for, for, for resisting. Candy, Candy, Annie Marie, stop. Go back to school. Everywhere you turn, it always leads you to a path that you go back to school and you keep saying no. Maybe there's, this is a reason. Maybe it's a sign. Maybe it's something you're supposed to be doing, girl. I'll help you out. Whatever you need, I got you. Let's do this thing. If it's hard, it's hard. You need a babysitter, I'm here. Y'all you, know what I'm talking about, those people. Come on, yummy Nicholas, hey love. Ready to, to push you, ready to hold you accountable for you to walk into where you're supposed to be. Those are the connections I need. I don't need you to just come over and talk about the gossip, the tea. I don't need the tea. I need to get to where I need to go. Come on. I need something that's elevating me. I don't need something that's diluting my knowledge, diluting myself. I don't need purposeless things in my life. I don't need purposeless conversations. Every time we talk, my baby should jump. Let me talk about that when Mary came around. Every time I come around, you, my baby should start jumping. Every time I should come around you, my, I should, it should stir up my destiny. It should, it should take me to a higher frequency. It should make me believe in who I am. That's how it should be. These positive relationships, positive conversations. Who's holding you accountable? Who's holding you accountable towards the pursuit? The pursuit of the greatness. The pursuit of the destiny. You don't have to do anything perfect. A lot of times we resist the call. We resist our greatness. We start with self. We hold ourselves accountable. That way we can allow other people to hold us accountable too. But we got to make sure they're the right connections first. Always begin with self. Always start with self. You don't know where to start, my love, J. Bay. Start with self. We got to hold ourselves accountable because people can't truly hold us accountable if we can't do it for ourselves first. We won't know what to look for. Michael, my love, we won't know what to look for. If we don't hold ourselves accountable, then people don't know what the standard is. We got to come to a place to know who we are and recognize who we are so we can hold, so we can allow people to hold us accountable and they know what to hold us accountable for. The next thing, come on, stop resisting is you don't have to do everything perfect. A lot of times we resist our greatness is because we don't got it all together. Honey, your greatness is yours even with you not having it all together. Your greatness is yours whether you do or you don't. And until we recognize that, we're going to keep resisting. Your greatness isn't called that you have to have it all together. It's already been spoken. So let me get this right, Candy. You're telling me that my great destiny... That you talking about. That I have. That was spoken over me. Be love. Hey love. 
So let's get this right, Candy. You're telling me that this great destiny that has been spoken over my life is not contingent on whether I have it together or not? I don't, I don't know how that makes sense. Uh, because the destiny was spoken before I was created and it's already decreed. So that means it's already done. Before I even live? So what if in that living I messed up? So I could live any any and, and, and mess up and try to do it right and, and, and can try my very best with a good heart and then keep his commandments and it's I'm still gonna get it. Yeah. That's it. You don't have to do everything perfect. So stop resisting. He works in our imperfections. In our weakness, he is made strong. Thank you, love, helping me get closer to my goal for stars. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, be love. In our weakness, he is made strong. You got to believe, king and queens, that the world needs what you have been called to do. Yay, thank you, love. The world needs what you have been called to do. It's more than you. And we understand that when we love ourselves more at the end of the day. It's more than you. We start having his heart and his desires. I love myself more at the end of the day to love people better. That's the equation. The world needs what you have been called to do. Whatever it is, king and queens, your greatness is supposed to be manifested so it could help nations. I know that might be a little bit too much for us. We can't think that big, but that's what it is and it's real. And all we need to start to do is take baby steps and stop resisting. When we stop resisting, we trust in what he is bringing us. We trust and have faith in who he is. Just do it. Come on, vegan. Stop resisting and just do. Guess what? If you mess up, your destiny still promised to you. And guess what? When it wor if it works out, your destiny still promised to you. Come on, vegan. Cloud nine, my Barbie. Great rising love. Barbie. It's so pretty, and I love her. She's so awesome. Swish, come on. Whether you do or don't do, your destiny is still promised to you. Okay, so can we change that now? We don't got to have it all together to get there. Whether you do or don't do, it's still promised to you. If you mess up, you know what? If you mess up in ways, a lot of times it's even better because we learn from it. As long as you learn from your mistakes, then you'll be able to carry what's before you. The last thing I'm saying to you, king and queens, to get you to a place to stop resisting is resisting your calling will lead to depression. Resisting your calling will lead you to being stagnant. Resisting your calling will make you feel comfortable, but you always will feel like there's something more. You'll always feel like you're missing something. Something just... I don't have everything. Something just isn't right. I don't feel fulfilled. I know I got the house and the car and the wife and the kids. But c come on, Jay. But I feel like this isn't it for me. I, I know I got everything. I, I know I fulfilled the American dream. I, I know I, I got an easy life. Everything is smooth sailing. You know, I'm, a, I'm comfortable. I can't stand that. I cannot. Stand that, that when people say that. I'm comfortable. But I feel like there's something more. If we're constantly comfortable, then you're not growing. End of story. That's all, that's all you, that's, that's it. If you're settled and you're, you constantly are comfortable and, 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 the, and it's just motions, 
then you're not growing. You're not where you're supposed to be. Complacency. Come on, vegan. Then you know if you're never going through anything hard, how can you grow? And, and we got to grow to get to where we need to go, to get to our destiny, to get to greater, to be greater. Then, then we're choosing to just be stagnant. Be careful when you're in a place in your life that's just, it's not, and I'm listen to what I'm saying. I don't mean just easy because we go through our seasons. We go through seasons, king and queens. We go through seasons. We're blessed and then we go through trials and we're blessed and we go to tribulation. We're blessed and we go through the hard thing. We're blessed and then we go through trauma. Those things that we deal with that have been designed for us, not ones that we pull in ourselves, but the ones that have been designed for us are designed for our success, are designed to get us to get us to a place to carry the mantle that has been called for our life. Gets us to a place to strengthen ourselves so that we can be better. Scared of success. Right, vegan? Right? So, when we come to a place that everything is easy all the time, and a lot of times it's easy because we're being delusional about what's going on around us. Oh, I know that's stepping on some toes, but a lot of times I'm settled. See, how, why are you settled? How, when people say, when people say I'm comfortable, that this is what, this is the reactions I get. I'm going to break something down just real quick, just a little bit. Maybe this has to be for someone. I'm not going to say maybe it is. This is for someone that is listening. When somebody asks you, how is your marriage? You say, oh, I'm comfortable. Oh, you're comfortable. When you can say you're comfortable, you're being delusional. <laughs> you're being delusional. It's not about comfortable, honey. Are you happy? When you ask them, how is your marriage? Are you happy? They say, I'm comfortable. What does that mean? It's a yes or no. And I didn't say, I'm not just talking. Come on, vegan. I'm not just talking about happy. I'm talking about, are you living in happiness in your marriage? Are you happy? all the time most of the time that's what I'm asking you I'm not saying I'm not saying are you happy one day out of the 365 days in the year and the rest of the 364 you are miserable that's not what I'm asking you come on right God favor no I don't want to hear that comfortable I said are you happy is there happiness in your marriage in your life, are you happy? Is there happiness? Foxy, I love. Is there happiness in your life? Are you happy? I, that's not, I'm comfortable. Then you are living in a delusion, my love. Because you wasn't, ain't nowhere in the word that was promised for you to be comfortable. What? I don't, I don't see it in there. What I do see is life in that more abundantly. What I see joy that's everlasting. I see different, I see other things, love, but I do not see, I've been a mega head, love. I do not see comfortable. We're living a delusion. You, you have stopped resisting so much. You're numb. Oh, thank you, Most High. You have come to the point, King, that you have stopped resisting the very thing you deserve so much. You are numb. And to my queen, you have been through so many things that you have come to the place to stop resisting so much that you are numb. You don't even recognize the comfortable is stagnant. The comfortable is stunning your growth. The comfortable is not anything that you deserve. There is something wrong, king and queens, when we're in a place that we are going through the motions, complacency. There's something wrong when we're in complacency. That 9 to 5, we wake up in the morning. We get the kids together. We kiss our husband, kiss our wife, kiss our partners. Whatever it may be, we do that. We not, and, and it could not even be kissing anymore because we're just going through the motions. We got to wake up. We got a routine. We got to wake up in the morning. Wake up. Take a shower. Brush your teeth. Whatever we're doing. Go uh, eat breakfast. Make breakfast for the kids. Kids get dressed. Just take a shower. This and that. But get on the bus. They go on the bus. We go to work. We go to work. 9 to 5. 9 to 6. 12 hours. 10 hours. 14 hours a day. We come home. We, we eat. We do this. We go to sleep. 
tomorrow. We wake up. We There's a routine that is happening. That routine part. The routine part is the enemy that's a blocking you. That got you to a place from being numb to who you are called to be. That has you in this delusional world that this is what life is. But no, honey. The Most High has called you to live a life in that more abundantly. And there is no abundance in life in routine. Abundance is blessings. Abundance is more. Abundance is fresh. Abundance is constantly changing. Abundance is seasoned. Abundance is growth. Abundance is unconditional love. Abundance is all the rewards and riches that the Most High has called for you. Don't come to me with this complacency. Do not come to me, oh, I'm used to working this nine to five. Then that's not what you're supposed to be doing. Wake up somewhere. The abundance is more. The abundance is not calling you to hate your job and what you do all the time. No, honey, that's just a stepping stone. Stop living in your stones and get to your purpose. We're living in these stepping stones. It's a stair, honey. We don't live on the stair. Walk into the house. Mm. Stop living on the stairs and the stones, my love. Walk into the house. Get to your purpose. Come on now. I didn't do this for naught. What you're living in that you think life is, that you settled in, that's just the stepping stone, honey. There's more to your life. Walk up the stairs and walk up the ladder into your greatness. Stop living on the stones and stop living on the stairs. Hmm, that's deep. It's deep. Find the revelation in that. Listen to this. When we walk up the stairs, we have sat on stairs before, king and queens. Every single last one of us in this live has sat on stairs before. We have been walking up stairs and we got too tired that we sat down. Whether it was when we was a child or adolescent or teenager, adult, whatever it may be. We sat on the stairs because we got tired. And what happened, king and queens, is... We came to a point in our life that we got tired. How do we live in the stone? Why are we living on the stair? Because we came to a point that we got tired. We got sick and tired of, of going up. Let's be real. Let's, we got sick and tired of being better. We, we got sick and tired. We, 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 we came to a place to resist. We got sick and tired of what we're living and how we're doing it. And it's too hard to be good. And it's too hard to get to what I need. And it's too hard to get to what I deserve. That we stopped at the stair because we got tired. And we set up shop. On the stairs to our greatness, we are living on our stepping stone. We are living on our stair. Because we got tired. So we settled and we're comfortable. There's something, thank you, Sip. There's something that's calling us to be more, but it takes effort. Stop resisting and do it. In our weakness, He is made strong. You are enough. You are enough to get there. And the places where you lack, he's going to fill. And every time you get tired, he's going to grab you, love. And he's going to pick you up, king. And he's going to pick you up, queen. And he's going to walk them stairs with you. And you can't forget that. Thank you, Zude. Thank you, Sip. You cannot forget that very thing. Be still. Yes. Walk and do. Just do. Don't shortchange your destiny. Don't take less than what you deserve and stay on the stairs. Reach your greatness. Keep walking. Keep going up those stairs. Again, there's a reason why you feel like it's just motions. I have lived my life waking up, going to work, coming home, going to sleep, waking up, going to work, coming home, going to sleep, eating somewhere in between. You think 
that's why the Most High created this, the greatest creation ever was for you to go, work, come home, go to sleep every single day. That's it. That's, that's what he meant. So he meant life and that more abundantly. That's what, that's what he's talking about. No, no, he's called you for more. Don't dilute his creation by taking less than you deserve. Don't dilute his creation by deciding that you, that it's, it's, it's not worth it. Get out of the complacency. There's more to your life. If you're not sure, then, 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 then create the relationship with the most high. Seek him. Walk into the things that you're scared of. That reject this fear. Reject the laziness that you want to stay complacent. Reject the pride. Oh, the pride that says, I tried it before and you know it didn't work, so I'm too good for that. I'm, I'm, my, I, I, yeah, my life is fine right here. I did everything right. I'm, I'm, I'm good, I'm comfortable. Pride is saying that, 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 you know, if, if, if I, if I get out of what I'm living in, that means I did something wrong. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna do that. If I change who I am, I already told everybody I wanna, I'm gonna stay in this company till I retire. But the most high is pushing me to make my own business. But I already said, and everybody, you know, I'm CEO, you know, I'm, 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 I'm running this place. No, but the most high wants you to run your own place. No, but I, I told everyone I'm going to retire here, but the most high wants you to be your own boss and, and get more, you know, it's not just about working. It's come on vegan. It's not just about working. It's about time. Now you have time for your family. Now you have time for the abundance. What, what's the point of living life and getting the abundance and you can't enjoy it? What? That's what we do, right? I did it. I did it for eight years, seven years. 80 hours a week, 90 hours a week, making crazy, insane overtime every single week for years in a company. Went all the way to the top. Running the store in 34th Street. Started the company and said, has said from the beginning, I'm going to, what is your plan? At my first interview, I said, I will be the top manager in your company and I will run your highest volume store. And they looked at me like I was crazy, but I got there and I did it. 80 hours a week, 90 hours a week, putting myself in the hospital, slaving and killing myself, giving giving time that's precious to investment working for something that's not even mine praise god yeah that part until the day they fire me isn't that something i said that earlier he will pull the rug from under your feet when you stop you know if you if if you don't if you don't stop resisting he'll make you but we shouldn't get there and sometimes we we, we lose a lot of time. It's not wasted because we learn. But we lose a lot of time. If we get to a point where we make him do it for us. We lose a lot of time. I lost eight years. I should have been left. But you know. Feeling like life is over this and that. Why? Because I was in that tunnel vision. Of work, 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 work. And then when I stop working. I'm like. Oh. So this is what life is. And recognizing that time means more than anything. I lost years of time that I could have been spending with my father. My father is alive and well. But do you get what I'm saying? For all our loved ones, when we look back like, man, I could have been hanging out with grandma. I could have been hanging out with abuelita. I could have been hanging out with my grandpa. I could have been hanging out with my mom, my, my father, my kids. Whoever it is that we lost... Uh, uh, Unfortunately, it's just the ones that we love unconditionally. We look back and how many of the time that you could have been with them that we used on something that was nothing. And that's what I mean when we get to a place to stop resisting, then our time is more precious to us. It's more valued. We use it where we need to. So in the end of this, King and Queens, all I'm saying is if you're in a place of complacency, Stop resisting. And you'll, you'll start finding yourself. It doesn't mean it's, it's going to be always right. And it doesn't mean it's going to be easy. But you're going to find yourself more satisfied. 
And we get more satisfied when we're living in what we're supposed to and when we're going forward in the call and we feel more passion and we feel more drive and we feel more alive. You will feel more life when you stop resisting. Do you hear me? You will feel more life when you stop resisting. It won't be a machine robot that does the same thing over and over again. You will start feeling again. 